And what this process does, it uses ultra high pressure water at about 33,000 PSI and um, it cuts the asphalt and then vacuums the asphalt off the road to improve the texture. Five years ago, we had a research project that Texas Tech did for TxDOT to look at how to treat bleeding and flushing seal coats. And one of the recommendations from the research project was to hydroblast the asphalt off the road. But at the time, we didn't have any equipment in the United States to do that. This is mostly done in New Zealand and Australia. Last year, we got in contact with Rampart Hydro Services. They're out of Pennsylvania, and we talked to them. They felt like that uh, with the equipment that they are used to take rubber off of uh, runways at airports, that they should be able to do this process. Okay, the first test section we did was on concrete pavement. It did a really great job for us. It removed hot mix that had fallen out of a haul truck. It improved the friction quite a bit on that roadway. So that's another application for this is to, if you have something on concrete pavement that you need to be removed. It won't cut into the concrete and roughen the actual surface of the concrete, but it will remove material from the concrete. Today we're um, removing excess asphalt from a seal coat that is flush. This seal coat was placed last summer at the end of the summer and soon afterwards the asphalt flushed in the wheel pass and so what we're doing is we're cutting a two foot strip in each wheel path to remove the excess asphalt. There's uh, several different ways that you can treat a, a flush seal coat. You can try to strip seal again but you're not always guaranteed that'll work because you're just putting additional asphalt on and, and it's real finicky. You could also level up with hot mix, but if you've got too much underlying asphalt, it will come up through the hot mix and cause it to rut. There's several different treatments we can do that are more expensive and they're not always guaranteed to work. And so that's why we were looking for something that didn't add additional asphalt to the roadway. If you feel the surface before, it's fairly smooth where the asphalt's about even with the top of the aggregate. And now after this process has come through, we've cut about half the asphalt out from around the aggregate, which should improve the friction characteristics of the roadway. One of the reasons that we're doing the implementation project with multiple test sections is we're also testing with different instruments to measure texture and also skid resistance of the roadway so that when we write a specification for this operation, we'll have some data to use that's not subjective.